A marriage made in heaven. Whoa! Jeez! Okay. Gentlemen, I just got this handed to me. A hit and run felony at Ray's Cafe, 208 North Los Angeles. Got a patrolman on site. The coroner's on his way. Get down there, see if you can find any witnesses who can put a make on the car. I want to make homicide. I mean, you know you've made it if you got that desk. <laughs> that bum took a swipe at me. I put him down with my sack. Okay. Let's go to our car here again. See if we can go to the murder that scene. Outrageous. Yo, come on. We don't have all day. Straight on. Oh, Looks it's like the DA is going to press. Ah, uh, slow down. God damn it. The first thing I do when I come out from the station is to wreck like the car. the DA is going to press charges. And Rodriguez might do time. I'll speak to the DA. She suffered enough. Left, coming up. I don't know, Cole. She's an easy make if the DA likes conviction. I'll con Okay, looks like we have two point of interest people here. Detectives! Over yes. Here. Okay. Cole Good day, officer. Traffic. What have we got? Because a white male named Lester Patterson walked out of the bar and into the street, car hit over there, and he ended up here, dead on impact by the look of it. Have you canvassed the area? The only one with anything useful to contribute is the young lady over there. She lives above the bar, named Shannon Perry. No, it's not a stage name. 24 years old, she left Kansas to follow the yellow brick road. Is that so? We'll take a formal statement later. Right now, we're going to take a look around. Okay. Let's uh, look what we have here. We have a hat. Phelps landed on his face and ended up here. Jesus. Okay. Let's start with his face. Hmm. Nothing special there. His hands. Okay. I can't see anything special there either. Next hand. Oh, what's his face again? <laughs> no, come on. Nothing there ever. So, right pocket. Nice, okay, driving license. We can notify next of kin. And he have some money, okay. Oh, come on. Left pocket. California Fire and Life. Free approval has been granted to raise weekly of a life insurance policy. Oh, wow. Life insurance. That's a good reason to kill someone. What have you got on the victim? From all reports, he was intoxicated at the time of the accident. I'll know how intoxicated once I've done the autopsy. Looking him over now, I'd say he died on impact. What about the chest wound? Isn't that inconsistent? 
Very common in auto injuries. Look for a car with a prominent hood ornament. Those things are killers. Jesus, look at this trail of blood. Body traveled a good 20 feet. Okay, let's check the dumpster here first, see if we find anything. A knife! Okay. Oh, turn it right. A knife covered in blood. Could be a steak knife. This is a hit and run case, Phelps. Anyone could have thrown away a kitchen knife. In any case, we'll want tech services to scrub the alleyway before they bag the knife. Anything else? An empty bottle. No good to me. Okay. Okay, the music stopped, so I think we just went to wave uh, crime scene. So we could talk to her. We could check inside here as well. So raise the bartender. I'll take the bartender. You work the rest of the room. Okay, that's locked. That's locked. Ooh. So this is why everybody comes to raise. We were doing po uh, poker. Okay, and this is the back side. You can't see anything else, so maybe we need to start to talk to people now. Okay, let's talk with uh, well, the newspaper. Finding working at the clinic. It's uh, fine. Uh, okay. Are you sure? Can I be honest with you, Doctor? I would hope so, Courtney. <laughs> I was hoping that the therapy would be more beneficial. Treatment can unfortunately be very long term. So many of the patients here are addicts, Doctor. Many of them have been for years, Courtney. In the past, these people were condemned to sanatoriums. We can reveal the root of the problem. Then we have a chance to help. I'm not sure if I like this doctor. Until then, they stay sedated. Do I detect a hint of reproach, Courtney? I was expecting more, doctor. I'm sorry. I don't mean to criticize. Part of being a physician, Courtney. Learning to be patient. How is it possible to keep so many of them on their medications, Doctor? <laughs> many of their addictions are illegal. Oh, many things in life are gray, Courtney. What may on the surface appear to be illegal is actually a benefit to society at large. Oh, wow. Okay. Shrink to the stars promises mental breakthrough. Okay, let's talk with... Comes from olive. Where does baby oil come from? I'm Detective Phelps of the LAPD. How can I help, Detective? Name would be a good start. Dudley Lynch. Hired help. I run the place when the owner ain't around. Okay. Where is the owner? He stepped out. Somebody had to take Lorna of Mrs. Patterson home. Hmm. He called her by her first name. What can you tell me about the accident? Not a lot. 
It was busy in here, and all I heard was the impact. Uh, nah, look at his face there. We are doubting him. So what was he doing outside? It's against licensing regulations to drink on the sidewalk. Mr. and Lorna were having a fight. The owner made him take it outside. It was pretty ugly. Okay. And how are you associated with him? Do you know the victim? Yeah. Lester Patterson. He's a regular here, or he was. Yeah, that's the truth. Not one of your favorite customers? Lester was special, but not my kind of special. Okay. Is Lester drinking alone? No. He came here with his wife. She didn't seem too interested in the booze, though. Nice. Okay. So, uh, the wife is really uh, under suspicion now. It's all yours, Detective. Miss Perry? Yes. And she's the way I witness, right? This is my partner, Detective Bukowski. Okay, let's get her report. Can you tell us what happened? Well, I came to the window because I heard people arguing downstairs. Mm, okay. Then what happened? I saw a car hit that poor man and knock him down the street. Can you describe the vehicle? What kind of car was it? A dark red Lincoln Continental. Yeah, but looks like she's telling me the truth here. Did you see the license plate? Only the first three letters, I'm afraid. Three, C, eight. I mean, that's good enough, isn't it? What about the argument? Tell me more about the argument you heard. Well, there were two voices. A man and a woman. That's all. Okay, she knows more about this. Why are you holding out on us, Miss Perry? I'm sorry. I was hoping to tell my story to the newspapers. I'd like to get my picture in the paper. Oh my god. I'm trying to find work as an actress and okay. things are pretty difficult. Cough it up, sister. We don't have all night. People arguing? They were husband and wife. I could tell by what she was yelling. Intimate things. Very embarrassing for the man. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Thank you, Miss Perry. Your information has been very helpful. You can go now. You really think so? I hope you find that driver and put him away. You certainly got away with the dames, Phelps. <laughs> Give it a rest, Bukowski. Bukowski. Let's see what the patrons have to say. Oh, should we talk with him again? A witness overheard an argument. Lester and Lorna. There's nothing like airing your dirty laundry in public, is there? Hmm. It looks like he's telling the truth. But should we doubt him? Right. Oh, this is so... Okay, I think we need to use an intuition here. Remove an answer. Oh my god. So he's telling the truth. What was it about? Who knows? The slightest thing could set those two off. Oh, uh, we should have taken out. Damn it. Sure, no problem. You get anything out of the regulars? They weren't giving too much away. They liked watching Lester and Lorna go a few rounds every other day. And Lester was a fan of the love tap. Okay, see so if we can look up that license Operator, plate. Give me R and I. Putting you through now. Cole Phelps, badge twelve forty seven. How can I help, Detective? I need to run a partial license plate, three Charles eight. 
Cross-check possible Lincoln owners. Suspect vehicle is a red Lincoln Continental. Just a moment, detective. Only one possible make on that license. Registered to a William Shelton, 738 West Temple Street. Thanks, ma'am. Looks like we caught a break on this one. Okay, it sounds like there is still a clue here somewhere. I'm not really sure what that is. Oh, I don't want to use another intuition either. I'm not really sure if we need this clue. Yeah, okay, that's the newspaper. We've already looked at that. So maybe it's outside. Ah, oh, this one. I don't think we've checked this one. The tire marks. So the driver managed to brake before the impact. Aha, uh -huh, okay. So it wasn't a deliberate thing. He was trying to brake. Okay, let's go to the car. So we can go to... The Pattison residence, yeah. Okay. Let's go. You're taking the next left. And so the wife was there when it happened, but then left the scene. Right. That's pretty unusual behavior. Go left just now. Right turn, coming up. She could be in shock. We saw some people who did strange things before. Ah. Try to get there in one piece. Okay. But it sounds like a really good motive. She learned about the life insurance, Maybe so she, she killed him. Pushed him out, the, out in the traffic. You don't think, Phelps, the guy was run over. So it worked out well for this bra. So what? Maybe she deserved to catch a break. I don't know. Take the next ride. The Pattison Radio, the residence. Okay, let's knock on the door. Yes? Hello? Mrs. Patterson. Is this about my husband? We're investigating the incident, ma'am. I see. Come in, won't you? Okay, let's look around here first. Oh, we're playing poker here as well. These uh, beer bottles funny. everywhere. Okay, that's locked. That's locked. Huh. Okay. Dinner for two. Maybe if no. Oh, God, it's the same knife. It's the same uh, type of knife. Good job. 
circumstantial. Doesn't tell me anything. I'm not really sure if you're finding anything here. Oh god, this was a hard and can we go out here? No. Uh -uh. Okay, let's talk to her. Can you tell me what happened? What's to tell? He got hit by a car and now he's dead. Ta da! You don't appear to be too upset about the fact. Case closed. Lester and I met on a furlough in 44. We got married that weekend. People don't understand it now, but that happened a lot back then. I see. So you probably did well to stick it out this long. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean, mister? I think it's about time you left. I have someone here. I beg I... your pardon? You're going to have to run that one by us again, sister. Uh, excuse us. Excuse me. It's okay, excuse... Lorna. I'm Who's this guy? Sabo. Well, well. Nice to see you're comforting the grieving widow, Mr. Sabo. Oh. All right, wise guy. Do you have any intelligent questions you would like me to answer? You can confirm Mrs. Patterson's story. Lester lost at cards. He was kind of hard to control when he lost his temper. He turned without looking and walked right out in front of the car. <laughs> it wasn't good. What's your relationship with Mrs. Patterson, Mr. Sabo? We're friends. Good friends. I think they're in... You expect me to believe that? Yeah, no. We are in... Look, I was filing for divorce. Mental cruelty. Lester could be... A We're doing this marriage. together. And Lester knew about that? No. I hadn't told him. Well, hasn't this worked out well for the two of you? I feel almost bad for busting in on this little rendezvous. <laughs> okay. How did the car come to hit Lester? He walked straight into the path of an oncoming car. Hmm. Okay, let's check our not notebook here. Right, so we had the argument. We could use that. You're lying, Lorna. You pushed him in front oh, of the car. Oh, but that wasn't what I wanted I to say. You can prove that. I suggest you arrest me now. I would have loved to push him under a car many a time, but not this time. Oh, we failed that one. Okay, the nature of the argument. You were arguing in the bar and on the sidewalk. We were always arguing. So what? Admit it, you were baiting him, pushing his buttons. We can easily get the full story from the regulars in the bar. All right. Lester was playing cards out back. He lost, of course, and wanted back in. He mm -hmm. suggested I earn the money on my back to get a mistake. That was the proposition he was putting to his so-called buddies. So maybe oh. I was oh, a little wow. angrier okay. than usual. Let's just say I took exception to his idea. We're leaving, Lorna, but this doesn't add up. We'll be keeping an eye on you. <laughs> We're leaving. If this doesn't add up. Oh, we can use the telephone. Uh, <clears throat> we are leaving, but we just got to use the telephone here. Operator, give me dispatch. Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, Detective? Messages for me, please. Just one, Detective, from the coroner. Message reads, Phelps, see me at Central Morgue immediately. Results of the Patterson autopsy. Thanks. Okay, nice. Okay. We're leaving now. We're good. We might come back. Oh, okay. We should probably go to the morgue here first before we talk with any other uh, witnesses. Right up ahead. Take the next left. Uh, 
Ah. I'll be taking the next right. Oh, okay, we can take that. So it's behind us here. So let's go to that. Oh, it's so far away. Straight through the next intersection. Straight over. Next right. Okay, I think we're getting closer here now. Hang out dry. Okay. Where the hell have you been? Four punks been helping <laughs> themselves to the suits. Oswald Jacobs? You work here? <laughs> Goddamn right I do. I have been awesome. place for ten years. Nice, Wait okay. For something like this. Calm down. The He's a security guard. You, you go first. How about I back you up? Okay, looks like we need to actually kill them here. Nice! Two headshots. How long do you think you can hold out? Stay down. Oh you're blocking our view. Oh my god. Okay, let's run here. I think we need to flank them here. Okay. I think this is a good place to flank them. Ah! Oh. Oh, he ran upstairs. I'll be right behind you, sir. Stay in cover. Okay, two more guys. I think they're on top of us. Good job. So I don't really think it matters if we shoot them in the leg or the head. Car 11K. Shots fired and suspects are down. We're code four here, but I'll need an ambulance at 536 South Figueroa Street, Holcher's Textiles. Also notify a supervisor and the coroner. 11K, Roger on the ambulance in coroner, and I'll notify your supervisor. All units 11K advises... Okay, let's go to locations here again, see if we can uh, fast travel. You know the way. You can drive. You're behind the wheel. Okay. 
Uh, ooh, this way, I guess. We can put the driver in front of a judge in less than a week. You'd be making a big mistake. Run that by me again? The victim was dead before the car hit him. Two puncture wounds to the right side of the thorax. Second nice pun. Reached his heart. You're kidding me. Been doing this job 23 years, son. No one's ever laughed at one of my jokes. He was stabbed to death? Long, sharp knife. Length of a bayonet. We found a knife in the alleyway. Where is it now? Was it bagged? By Patrolman Kaplan. Perfect. I'll get you a definite match. Jesus, we got him. Murder one. We were right there, and they tried to stare us down. Now they'll both get the gas chamber. Whoa, we have the, the gas knife, chamber. We have the coroner's report, and I bet we could roll Sabo as a witness. Let's bring her in. Okay, so that's the life in, uh, insurance paper. And that's the wallet, right? So if you've already looked at these. So let's go back to them, to the Pattison, I think, right? We could arrest, we could go to Shelton here, we should probably talk with him first, the driver, I totally forgot about him, Jesus, come on, whoa, 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 okay, maybe that was my fault, I take a shortcut here. This is KTI Radio with this public service announcement. Juvenile oh, there's the red Lincoln. We have the knife. We okay, let's just talk with him here yeah, first. Okay, I feel like there is going to be another car chase here. That son of a bitch right there. William Shelton? Yes. It doesn't look good, Shelton. You packing your bags and making a run for it? You know why we're here. Yes. The accident. We've got witnesses who can put this car at the scene, not to mention the physical damage. This is open and shut, Shelton. <laughs> That coward thinks he can run from everything. Whoa. Go on, go on. See if we can take me short. No, I want to just take a shortcut here. Games, Phelps, take this guy out. Oh, nice hit. That's a nice hit. Don't let that asshole get away. Lay into his wheel, Archie. Come on. All right, I give up. Nice. Cuff him and we're done. Show me your hands. Good job. The vehicular manslaughter rap sound, Shelton. I hit him. I admit it. I just panicked, but it wasn't my fault. What do you mean? The guy jumped right out in front of me. He came out of nowhere. 
There's nothing I could do about it. Why didn't you stop? I've had accidents before. I've accidents before. We're okay. <laughs> is gonna love you. They weren't all my fault. I'm a surveyor. I need my license for my job. There were people around. A woman and a man were standing right next to him. I thought they could get him to a hospital. I'm telling you, it's not my fault. The guy is dead, Shelton. You can't be serious. William Shelton, you're coming downtown. We need to talk about a manslaughter charge. So, initial report came back with an ID on our victim. Lester D. Pattison of 182 North Hope Street. Captain wants us there double quick. Okay, let's select the destination here. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Jeez. Okay. Knock, knock, knock. You spoke to the coroner, Mrs. Patterson. Doesn't look good. Husband's cause of death. We'd like you to come downtown and answer some questions. It wasn't me. It was Leroy's idea. Leroy stabbed him. I had nothing to do with it. Where is Leroy oh, now? Oh, wow. He's in the bedroom. That's good. You're very good, Lorna. Put the gun down, Leroy. If you do something stupid now, you don't stand a chance in front of the grand I see jury. you to give me up, sweetheart. All that whispering in my ear telling me how he had to get rid of him, how good it could be, all the money we could claim, all that planning, how to get him into the street, how to make it look like an accident. <laughs> He's spilling everything. Oh, is covered, baby. I have nothing to do you with it. You think I'm going to fry for you, He's Lorna? He's a crazy man. Shoot him. Shoot him for God's sake. Whoa. It's too late, Zabo. Is shooting? Okay. Oh, he went this way. Over. Get over. Oh, where did he go? To the left here, I think. There he is. Ah, we're losing so much time. Quickly. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You stay back. I like this one. I don't care. How long do you think you can hold out? Whoa, I missed the first shot. Oh, God. Okay, good job. Yeah, no. You look spooked, Phelps. I thought you'd been under fire before. It never gets any easier, Bukowski. So, I give you a hit and run, you bring me back fraud, conspiracy, and first degree murder. This is how a good detective operates, Phelps. You take nothing at face value. You keep digging and asking questions until you get to the truth. You got some sharp elbows on you, detective. I like that. Keep up the good work. 